Hello YouTubers, I discovered something else on Samsung TV. So, uh, in the past, in our reviews, we present that the, using the, the remote control in quad-core smart Samsung TVs, the menu is working not so smoothly and uh, we have problem at browsing at the changing of the channels. So, so, uh, I personally give a fault for the processor, for the software of Samsung TVs. So, now, for example, we are in menu, let's point to the sensor and press really quick. So, if you saw, there is a huge delay, even on channels, I pressed five times now and uh, only two commands uh, the remote say. Even with new batteries, it's the same. I don't know what is with this ER uh, infrared signal because the remote uses a infrared signal. So I discovered that the fault is not on the processor, is not, is only in the remote control because we will present a mini wireless keyboard with a uh, with touchpad for the mouse and this keyboard. I got to tell you guys, this is the very impressive. If you put a uh, external uh, keyboard or a mouse pad, uh, it will work awesome. The menu, the channels, the change of the channels, the all the TV will respond much faster than uh, than the usual, than the normal remote control. I don't know how it is with the smart remote control. Please comment you guys uh, which you have the smart remote control because I'm very interested and curious about this thing. So, uh, we will do some uh, small presentation. This is with a trackpad and uh, it has all kinds of features. You can play the, directly from this uh, mini keyboard. It's very fun. You can search and use the smart function uh, more accurate, more great with this keyboard. In the back, this model has, let me show you, lithium-ion uh, battery in uh, 1000 amps. It's very interesting. And the receiver, it's pointed here. So this one, it will, will uh, we will put it in the smart TV and see how it goes. Now guys, if you see a new device has been connected, uh, was a message there and uh, you have a button here which it says on and off and a charging a charging port because the keyboard comes with a standard charging cable and this keyboard what I like in particular is that uh, it has lights for night using and uh, for car we will do some review for uh, Audi A8 using this keyboard uh, in Android uh, we will uh, post the link when the, the tutorial will be ready so now to test the accurate speed of this Samsung TV we will uh, change the channels for example so no 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 let's go in the menu so uh, if you saw I pressed uh, the button a couple of times and the comments were not very smoothly so look now you see this is a huge difference this is an improvement I don't know what Samsung did with that higher LED but the commands did the TV is responding awesome you can see now the quad cord it was very hard for understanding how a non a normal TV a non smart TV was uh, more fast than this smart TV so it was the remote control it was the ER so now if you will put this mini wireless keyboard it will it will be interesting it will you will gain speed at browsing your smart TV features your uh, whole lot features will be more improved first of all I want to show you with F10 you can increase the volume and with uh, F9 you will decrease it and uh, here with F8 you can mount the TV. For changing channels use function button and uh, hold the function button and with F9 and F10 you will change it. With F7 you can view the channels and you can uh, use the arrows to navigate. Okay, escape and uh, you will have some other buttons f6 uh, okay with f6 the source f5 
uh, in the F5 you can go into the smart and the most important application YouTube so let's open it up and uh, let's see how it runs I'm curious if I can type uh, the text you know uh, with the remote control you have to use the arrow so now let's click no it's not working the search option so let's go with the pointer sorry I'm filming with the phone because I forgot this uh, very important aspect to film uh, the YouTube on the smart app so now let's see texting texting Oh, this is a rubbish this is a rubbish the texting on the keyboard is not working the YouTube uh, application was not improved by Samsung even if you will uh, make upgrade or uh, software update so you have you got to use the pointers and the pointer sucks so you got to go on each letter and press it and uh, type it. It's very stupid this function. I don't know how Samsung did this. And you got to <laughs> agree with me guys. This is a rubbish function. So next for browsing you can browse with the arrows. But still, still if you want to search something this is a, a stupid thing. So I open up the web browser. It loads still uh, loads very slowly you know the TV is not for browsing personally I don't like how it loads the pages it's loading very 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 slow this browser so I don't recommend you but the pointer it runs better then we have another uh, uh, review for uh, Microsoft keyboard that is a uh, junk compared to this small uh, very cheap <laughs> wireless keyboard in uh, F9 and uh, F10 you can change the channels F10 forward backward in F8 you can cut the the mouse let's see yes you can cut the mouse in F10 in F7 it's best for Android devices so I don't know why it's Samsung not did uh, uh, small compatibility sorry because you can see the volume controls and the play controls are not responding are not working even these buttons media button this uh, email you don't use uh, at the tv but uh, mute button is very useful so windows button is the menu so you can see how quickly it uh, appears and disappears so now i'm going to show you how the keyboard is compatible with uh, the smartphone so we will put the receiver in the adapter cable so this is not only for the smartphones you can use it with the tv box with the tv box it's awesome we we expect the tv box and we'll do the review to ease keyboard dock change the input method to samsung qwerty so uh i saw something interesting i restarted my phone and uh, the keyboard work because now I don't think the keyboard will work so let's restart it so now I don't know if you can see it but it says keyboard connected uh, mouse connected so the keyboard I think let's see it's active yes the keyboard it's active so the functions are working you can see the square uh, checking and selecting an application and you can select the application like this or use the mouse you can use the mouse like uh, every mouse that you can connect to the android device uh, personally i like this uh, selecting arrows it's very fast it works best in kitkat 4.4.2 and uh, the, these functions are not working except the print screen the print screen is working um, the media player now works let let me discard the media player works okay uh, even if i press the play button it will work it will play music okay you can skip the tracks and the volume it's working it's very awesome this uh, small keyboard even the mute button it's working the left click and the right click uh, the E button I uh, managed to 
So let's see. Uh, for example, you, if you are uh, in a, an application, if you press the A button, it will uh, automatically exit for that application and we, it will come to, let's say, the desktop of Android. Let's take something, for example, let's press uh, find something, one. So for one or two or three, all these buttons will bring uh, the Google Now. So let's uh, search for something, let's say, I technology reviews YouTube and click it and yes <laughs> we found our channel and our Facebook uh, the mouse you can you have to click it and be careful this one will deactivate uh, this tracker mouse tracker so now it's 2.4 gigahertz this uh, keyboard and let's load our channel it works great even the search search on YouTube for example you can press it and you can go with search so guys hope you like this review tutorial or whatever you want to call it if you have another hints for Samsung TVs uh, like this new discovery of mine please comment below and uh, for helping others you can share it for helping others to see these uh, new features these new discoveries uh, we have a lot of videos please subscribe and support us on our channel guys thank you got to love technology because technology is part of our lives thumbs up guys have a great day bye